Just Lover has decided to intervene for Mr. Emmanuel Obasi, that is Judy's ex-husband, for he has finally spoken. Hello beautiful people, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to each and every one of you listening to me at this point in time. This is Regis Television. So guys, thanks for coming around to my channel. I really appreciate your presence. Please, if you've not subscribed, support this channel by clicking on the subscribe button. And do not forget to leave your notification bell on so that once I post videos, you'll get an alert. So guys, on today's trending gist, it's all about Yoli Doche, the yo that we all used to like, the guy that we all respect. The movie actor that everyone admires so much has been downgraded. In fact, we never knew in this life that y'all can be in such scandal. We never knew that y'all would turn out to be this type of person that people view in this aspect. Someone that people are beginning to see as someone that is very heartless. Because since ever Mr. Obasi started crying out, a lot about the story has been unfolded. To tell you guys the truth, what Mr. Obasi has taken, I don't think that it's just few men that can take this without reacting. Yes. So looking at the screen right now, the man at the right side of the screen, his name is Mr. Emmanuel Obasi. That used to be Judy Austin's ex-husband. He has come out to say his own side of the story, though we are still waiting for Judy Austin to react to this particular gist. But since this man has started speaking, in fact, the man released their first picture, their, their traditional marriage picture before, but the thing didn't sink. Yes, Judy Austin didn't react to this. And today, a voice note started circulating. And in that voice note, Mr. Bassi said a whole lot of things and what he has been through, what he has been going through, and what he is still going through in the hands of Judy Austin and Yoli Dochi. So, according to Mr. Bassi, he said that in 2008, they had their first child. And in 2010, they had their second child. And in all those why, he tried his possible best to please the wife by sending the wife to school, guys. He sent the wife to school. He made sure that the wife got admission, even when she couldn't get the merit list admission. This man had to pay for supplementary list, which after everything, he had to even pay 100,000 naira for the wife's name to come out. And finally, the wife's name came out. So it got to a day that Judy Austin came back from school and now mentioned that he met with Yoli Duche, that is Petty Duche's son. So Judy Austin had to tell the husband and she also asked the husband if he knows Yoli Duche. The husband said yes. And I said, okay, that they met in their school. And in fact, Yoli has also promised to help her become a movie actress. That was it. That ever since she made that confession, they lost their peace in their home. So one day she also came back and told the husband that she wants to relocate to Enugu State. And the husband now said no, that he cannot get a house for her in Enugu State because she insisted that the man should please rent a house for her. The man now said, why would I rent a house for you in Enugu State? Why are you excluding in Anambra State? And I also live in Anambra State. So does it mean you'll be coming from Enugu to come and school in Anambra State? So the man refused. Yes, yeah, Judy's husband refused. And when the man refused, they started having a lot of issues, as in serious issues in their marriage. So Judy's husband decided to go to Judy's father to beg him, as in to beg him to talk to the daughter. And he was expecting the man to be reasonable with him. This man opened his mouth and said, do whatever that will please your wife. Yes, I should do whatever that will make the wife happy. So this got Judy's husband angry. And in fact, that was when he knew that the father was in support of Judy. And in this case, he has nothing, as in he has no one to talk to. He has no one to at least talk to Judy for him. So as day goes by, according to Judy's husband, one day he went out. And before he came back, Judy's family, that is Judy's father, Judy's elder sister, and Judy herself, they came and packed everything they were living with. And when he came back, he now had to call Judy on phone to ask Judy if he really came to work today. That was how Judy accepted and said yes, that she was the one that packed all those things. And since then, they started going to different um, welfare, different courts to make sure that they resolved their issue. But all those places that he went to, they all judged against Judy as in they were not in support of what Judy did. 
In fact, they also had duty to please let this man to be saying the children. Although that it was working out, according to the man, it was working out gradually, not until he as in she became serious with you. Yes, when they became serious, you know, she was trying to avoid the press. She was trying to avoid people capturing the face of those kids. So she had to stop the man from seeing the children. But where this man said something that really got people as in talking was when the man's mother died. Yes, the man's mother died. And this man requested that the children should come for the burial. And in Igbo land, there's a way they do their burial. Most of the grandchildren, they're always there. So he asked Judy to please allow the children to come for their grandmother's burial. But Judy didn't let those children to come for their grandmother's burial. And according to Judy's husband, that particular art hurt him a lot. As in, he felt so bad that those children couldn't come for that burial just as they expected them to come as the grandchildren of the mother. So they didn't come. So he didn't even make issue with it anymore. But that where he's hurting him right now is that since ever he started hearing the rumor that y'all has gone to pay for Judy's bride price, that they've all restricted him from seeing his kids. So that was why he came online and he's asking people with the voice note to please help him that he wants to see his kids. And knowing that Yule is connected, that Yule is a star, to fight Yule would not be easy. That was why he's trying to use the media to beg people or to say his own side of the story. At least document it to be documented because those children might still grow and be told that their father never looked for them, that their father never cared for them. So I think that was why this man decided to release this voice note as an evidence because internet never forgets. So he's speaking out in his own way. That is the way he can fight his battle. That is the way he can keep it documented. So he decided to say this and... As Gist Lover released that voice note, come and see people's comments on the comment section. People couldn't believe on why you all had decided to roll on the mold. Why would you not go and be sleeping with someone's wife? Because I've told people in the earlier Gist that they met when um, Judy was still married to this man. And Judy came back and started asking the husband if he knew you. And it was because of you, this lady left her marriage and went to Enugu State to live with you, little chances. Ever that time, things changed. So that he's not angry that they've married, but he just wants access to his children. So I felt pity when I heard this man talking because you see sincerity in his heart. You see sincerity in someone that needs help. As in, it is unfair to lock someone's children out of his or her life. As in, the person is not a criminal. You just decided to do because it. Because you, you want to deal with him or because you feel that you have the power and he's so powerless. So, and I think with the help of social media, that things will get fine. As in, a lot of people will start to intervene. Even police will intervene. Lawyers will intervene. And uh, welfare will also intervene. Because he has put a lot of effort to make sure that his kids are back to him. Or he has maybe a little access to his kids. Or maybe he can talk to them on phone. Now, whenever he called Judy, Judy will be like, who are you to them? Why are you disturbing me? Who are you to them? So, I think voicing out is not a bad one. This is someone looking for help. This is someone that needs help. And I know that he's going to get it. He will surely get it with the way he's going right now. And with the way he's pushing it, God will help him. He's going to get justice. At least if they want to get married, they can get married. But given this man access to his case, it matters to him. So this man also said something that he never beat Judy for one day understand so maybe some people will be thinking that maybe because of uh, domestic violence no the man said that he has never laid his hands on judy so i don't think he should be restricted from seeing his kids it is so unfair he no one deserves this he never signed for divorce it was judy that packed her load and left the marriage so as for you believe me he has not also reacted to the voice note we are still waiting on how he's going to break his silence so believe me, guys, I'll be keeping you updated concerning this year's gist. We'll keep posting every details to you. So in case you've not subscribed to this channel, please support this channel by clicking on the subscribe button. And do not forget to leave your notification bell on so that once I post videos, you'll get an alert. Do have a nice and wonderful day. Bye.